Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be different. Different background, of course. Um, I look a little crazy, of course. No makeup on, but anyways, let's get into the video. We are going to be... I'm going to be retouching up my hair, like re it, and I love this color. It matches perfectly with my hair color. Um, I wanted to record this for you guys, and... One thing you really need is an old shirt, if you haven't done that already. Put Vaseline all over the spots that you need to put it on. Um, I need to do that right now. It's the forehead right here, down here, your ears, your neck, your arms, and the back of your neck. Mostly your arms, because like it gets everywhere, which I don't know why. So complicated. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and keep watching. So the first step I need to do is put petroleum jelly or Vaseline on the spots that needs to go. So and back up my forehead line. All that right there. My ears. Get that really good so it doesn't really stain your forehead at all. In the back of your neck. I have no idea if you can see me doing that. And then on your arms. For some reason, it likes to flick on my arms. In the palm of it. Same thing. Okay, I have it all over the places that it needs to be. I'll put some on my neck just in case. Okay, let's move on to the next step. So for the color, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris for Dark Brown Natural. So the first time I did not have this color in my head, I had it professionally done, professionally done because it was like a poopy red. And if I had done it by myself, it wouldn't turn out so good. So the first time I got my hair done, it dyed. It was this color. I did it, got it done professionally done. But the second time, the third time, I bought a box that matched the color that they did on me. So I've been doing it myself now. And I feel like the gloves that they give us, it still stains my hands. And that's pretty annoying. But yeah, you want to dump this into this bottle, shake it up really, really good, and then you can start. And then it comes with some color and shine conditioner. So I'm going to mix these two together, and I'll be right back. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. See? show you see that's the color right here so I'm gonna shake it and I'll be right back so I'm done shaking it and this is what it looks like and then the top right here you want to just rip it off a few seconds more okay I'm gonna throw this way because I don't need it anymore and I'm just gonna put it in the box because I don't need it no more Okay, now that's ready. I have the gloves in here. And let me get all set up and then I'll come right back. So, I already sectioned my hair off. I'm gonna, I like to start with the roots first and then make my way down. So, I'm gonna put some in the roots. I don't know if you can see that. both sides and that 
and the smell is strong, really, really strong. Oh, God. But when it's like washed out and I still have, have the smell in my head, I still like it. I like the smell, but like not the strong smell. I don't like. When I first did this to myself, I was like, I was scared because I, I didn't want to like miss any spots. Like I didn't know what I was doing. So yeah, I was a little afraid to do this. So I'm going to do the roots right now. And then once I get to the ends, ends, I will show you guys. So stay. So I'm going to do the ends right now. And I said I would come back once I started doing that. The ends are pretty, pretty simple. Nothing much to it. Burns my eyes. It's my first time ever trying to record this for you guys, so hopefully it works out. I'm gonna be mad if it doesn't work out good. So yeah, like I told you guys the first time, I had like really ugly hair color. It was like a poopy reddish color. It like faded really bad. The first time when I got this color, I got it done. Professionally done. Because I was too scared to do it myself. Like really scared to do it myself. So I didn't know what to do. But like, I was like, okay, I can do this. I didn't want to go back to where I got it done. The first time done. I mean, it wasn't that expensive, but I just didn't want to go back to the place. It wasn't nothing bad or anything. It's just like my preference. I did not want to go back. So, I looked at Target online to find my match of a color. And so I did. I found a match. And it worked perfectly. And then at first, I was so scared to do it by myself. I thought I was going to mess it up. You know, all that. But it turned out really good. I ended up liking the results. So from now on, I dye my hair myself. Like, retouch it up right myself. So the thing, like, it was like 70, 70 something bucks just to dye my hair. So I started doing it myself. I bought the box. It was like eight, eight ninety nine something like that. I bought it myself, and then I started dyeing my hair myself from now on. So this is what third or fourth time doing it myself, and I'm getting pretty good at it. Finish the hair. I'm gonna let it sit for about 
20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to wash this off and I'll be back to show you guys the end result. So stay tuned. I don't know if you could take it. No, you want to see me naked, naked, naked. I want to be a baby, baby, baby. Spinning in his wedges like he came from Maytag. Rock it with it on the brown. Like, then I get like this, I can't be around you. I'm too lit to dim down a notch. Cause I can into things that I'm gon' do. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow.